It is that time of year. Farm fresh fruit is here and we all have our favorites. Strawberries. Oranges. I like mango and pineapple and watermelon. Massachusetts is bursting with fruit flavor. Approximately 1,600 farms across the state grow berries and tree fruit on nearly 20,000 acres. The farmers in Massachusetts, we sell to, directly to the consumer, most of us do. Consumer appetite is not just reserved for apples, the king of pick your own crops. People flock to farms for berries and stone fruit that grow from June to early September. What's local just tastes better, says Ellen Parley. It's able to be picked when it's ready and it's not picked for shipping. Most of our fruit would not ship well because it has too much juice. Parley Farms in Tingsboro is a family-owned fruit farm now in its 35th season. Owners Ellen and Mark Parley are former engineers turned fruit whisperers. That's going to turn into a strawberry. When we started with, we had just strawberries, it was strawberries in a field with a tarp over our heads and a plank. In 1988, a photograph in the Lowell Sun changed everything. There was this front page above the fold um, of Mark's mom with three trays of strawberries that were just beautiful. It ran around July 4th weekend. We were so busy and we got the whole crop picked. Today, Parley Farms 100 acres attract droves of pick your own enthusiasts. A cornucopia of wholesomeness grows here from apples and peaches to flowers and baby goats. The farm stand is in constant motion as the fruit is sorted for packaging and baked into pies. We're stating the obvious, but farming is a lot of work. Mark starts his really busy season, begins in April, and we're looking at a minimum of 12-hour days, and that continues into September. On the retail side of selling it, I get busy in May and I'm looking at 12 to 15 hour days until October and then it and then it's over. <laughs> sort of. The name of the game is keeping the tree in balance. Growing healthy, flavorful fruit requires year-round pest and soil management as well as pruning. Small shoots give you small berries, big shoots give you big berries. So in the winter time we took off every shoot that was less than six inches long. Each variety of fruit has its quirks. Blueberries like a constant supply of moisture. Drip tubes can provide one blueberry bush with two gallons of water in an hour, says Parley. Starting in June, he waters them four to five hours a day, longer when the weather is hot and dry. I was running 24 hours a day when this weekend it was 90s plus. Wood chips keep the soil cool and moist. Blueberries like the soil around 60 degrees. We got to add sulfur to the soil to acidify the soil. So if you're a homeowner and you go dig a hole in your lawn and put a blueberry bush in, it's going to turn yellow because at that pH it can't absorb the iron, the manganese, these metals that the bush needs. Parley's field crew keeps an eagle eye on the crop's progress. Sarni farmed rice, peppers and peanuts in his native Myanmar before fleeing to a refugee camp in Thailand and moving to the U.S. in 2008. First time just came no job, had to find a job, just get here. Yeah, start 2009. By mid-July, Ni nee and the crew are picking cherries for the farm stand. Cherries can be tricky to cultivate, especially during wet weather. Cherries, the skin is more delicate, more permeable to the water. As the cherries are getting sweet, that sugar will draw the water across the skin into the cherry and cause them to burst. Last July was very wet, and even with these varieties, we might have had 20-25% split. But that's nothing compared to extreme dips in temperature. In the last 10 years is when we've hit three of the coldest temperatures we've had on the farm. We've hit 17 below zero, 16 below zero, 15 below zero. It just wipes out the buds in the tree for the following year. 2022's drought and heat are challenging farmers in the region. Fortunately for the Parleys, their engineering skills are paying off. We started our pond that we put in 37 years ago, and 
we start with eight inch mains and they break off into six inch mains and four inch mains. We can get water to every section of the farm. The result, fruit that grows big and sweet. We eat a lot of fruit when it's in season, but I think that makes us fruit snobs. You get so accustomed to tasting fruit the way it was meant to be eaten. Does that mean the Parleys prefer fruit to dessert? Oh, no, we're dessert people. <laughs> That's right, we have a bakery. <laughs> it is still peach and blueberry season at Parley Farms. Apple season starts, believe it or not, later this month and goes until October. Mark Parley says one of the best tips he received on blueberry farming came from a farmer in Taunton. He said when you see blueberries turn blue, don't pick them right away. Instead, wait eight days, then taste ten blueberries. If eight of the ten are sweet, you are good to go. And so are you.